Té de jengibre. That's one of my favorite Spanish words. Hola mis amores, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary, so today I'm going to show you guys how to get silky, silky, soft hair. I started doing this on my son's hair. He does not like to comb his hair, guys. And his hair looks like a Brillo pad. I just take the ingredients and put it all into my hands, but I did measure this out for you guys, but normally for me and my son, I just put the ingredients on in my hand and kind of eyeball it. So what you're gonna need is a moisturizing conditioner. I'm gonna be using the Crece Pelo, but you can use Aussie Moist. I used to use that in the past, but I prefer the Crece Pelo, but it's, it's the same thing. Um, you just need something moisturizing. And then I add honey and extra virgin olive oil. Yeah, so then after I mix it in my hand, I just apply it onto my son's hair and instantly, you just see his curls just coming back to life. He's a boy, so he's not gonna wanna leave it on for a long period of time. I just make him go take a shower and shampoo and condition in the shower and all that good stuff. But for me, I like to leave it on for a minimum of 15 to 20 minutes. So minimum 15 minutes, but I'll leave it on for 20 sometimes. And I like to do it when I'm about to wash my hair. So you can do it on your hair when it's dirty. Just put it in there, bring back that moisture. Like if you do have your hair straight, it just kind of like gives back the moisture in because when you have your hair straight, you don't put any more product in it. So it's like dying of thirst. And I think that's it. I just wanted to say one more thing. I hope you guys are doing okay with this whole quarantine life. I just want to give you guys a big hug because I have my days where um feeling down and honestly I'm like I have all this time so I should be making more videos but it's just it's a lot this whole thing is just new to all of us so it's kind of hard to try to deal with it and whatever it is that you're doing to cope right now it's okay you don't have to freaking make a whole business plan and have your whole life figured out now that we have extra time just breathe relax it's okay be kinder to yourself we're gonna be okay and yeah, so if you guys would like to see how I get my hair super, super soft, stay tuned and keep on watching. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share, and all that good stuff. Okay, babes, so grab your moisturizing conditioner and your honey. I like to use this organic one that I got from Stop and Shop. And then you're just going to need extra virgin olive oil. Just make sure that it's virgin. I'll be using a paper cup just so when I'm done I can easily throw it out and I took a big scoop of the conditioner you're gonna see I take big scoops those are my uh, tablespoons for the conditioner and then I take little or amounts for the honey and the oil mix everything up till it looks like this and then I'm gonna divide my hair into four sections just to make sure that it's evenly distributed in my hair and you can leave this on for more than 15 minutes so 30 minutes even up to an hour or overnight because it's moisturizing you could leave it on longer and then shampoo and condition like normal i blow dried off camera now i'm gonna flat iron my hair and i forgot to mention this heat protectant spray i like to spray it before i flat iron just for extra protection you don't have to do this step just because i already have heat protectant on my hair when i blow dried it but my curls that are coming in are healthy and I want to protect them even more. I don't want to damage them. So I'm being extra cautious and adding that extra step of heat protectant. So yeah, this is definitely a top fave heat protectant for me. I can't believe I forgot to talk about it. This is why I need to make an in-depth video of how I straighten my hair. But yeah, which um heat protectant do you guys like to use? Last thing I'm going to do is take this cocoa butter stick that I like to use for flyaways. You could also use chapstick and it works just as good. On the first day of me straightening my hair, I have to do this because all my new growth is sticking up and it's so freaking annoying. If you wrap your hair immediately, it'll help with the flyaways, but I'm trying to wear it the same day. So that's why I use that little stick. And that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I love you. Take care. God bless.